episode of Get Real with Andy is about deep empathy. I worked with a couple the other day that um, they're very, each one of them is very strong willed. I might use the word stubborn, but really strong willed, individual, feisty person. And I had met each of them individually and separately. And I could tell they were making a really strong, tight case against their partner and they were preparing themselves to present their case like in court to prove to the judge which i suppose they enrolled me as the judge but not only that they were going to make such a strong case that even their opponent was going to see how much at fault they were and so they came in the room and i could see the body language they were gearing up for a really strong court battle and i surprised them by saying I want you to make your case. I want you to take turns presenting your case. But this time, I want you to do it as the other person. So I want him to be her and her to be him. And, and they looked at me funny, like, what do you mean? And I said, just be the other person. Be your partner. And I want you to make your case. See if you can do it as strongly as you were planning to make your own case for yourself. And so they took turns doing it. And the, the way it sounded to me, it was drenched with their own agenda, big time. So when they were each done, I asked them, how accurate was your partner in representing you? And they both shook their heads and said, that was way off. You don't get me at all. And so I said to them, okay, I want you to do it again. This is take two. But this time I want you to do it from your heart. I want you to tune in and speak from the heart of your partner. Because generally there's something that drives these complaints and perceptions. See if you can do it, just see if you can do it. And so they tried that on for size, they were nodding their head, really tuning in, and then they did it. They each took turns speaking from the heart of their partner, their perceived heart of their partner. And then I asked them, okay, how, how'd your partner do? Do you feel seen and heard by what your partner said? And they both said, yeah, they did a lot better. That was really good. And so that's when the conversation about the issues really improved, when they each tapped into what I call deep empathy. That's the cure. And where does deep empathy come from? It comes from tuning into the heart. And how do you tune into somebody else's heart? You have to be in touch with your own. That's the message here. We have a great opportunity to be healers in the world. And I'm saying a big, strong, potent tool is deep empathy. So let's do it. Thank you.